boys and girls, it's Mrs. Weaver. Today I'm going to read you a book about monarch butterflies. Monarch butterflies are one of the most easily recognizable butterflies. Um, as you go through this summer, you probably will see one. You can look for the orange and black butterflies. But the monarch butterfly is a special butterfly. It actually migrates. Um, and in this book, you're going to learn about their migration, their whole life cycle from egg through caterpillar to butterfly and all over again. So here we go with Magnificent Monarchs. Magnificent Monarchs by Linda Glasser, illustrated by Gay Holland. Look what I found here in these weeds. A shiny white egg stuck on a leaf. A tiny monarch caterpillar pushes her way out, my soft and wiggly friend. She eats and eats the milkweed leaves. She grows and grows until... She grows right out of her small, tight skin. She now has a bigger, looser one. She eats more and more milkweed and then she grows right out of her skin again and again and again now she finds a safe place in the shade and hangs upside down like a jay she sheds her skin once more. And look! A chrysalis has formed. My little friend is safe inside. She stays in there for days and days while her whole body changes in wonderful ways. When she comes out, she's not fat or wiggly. She's become a monarch butterfly with magnificent wings. Now she's ready for an amazing journey. It's autumn. She must not get cold. She quickly heads south for a warm winter home. She flies day after day and sips nectar from flowering weeds on the way. She meets other monarchs all heading south. They gather like tan and orange leaves, resting a while on butterfly trees. On and on my little friend goes, flying thousands of miles to Mexico. It's an amazing flight for a little one so thin and light. Millions of monarchs gather here where all their great-grandparents came last year. They all rest close together, staying warm until spring then my little friend starts back north again. Here she finds young milkweed plants. She lays her eggs at last. Soon a wiggly caterpillar pushes out of the egg, a tiny new life, an amazing new friend. Monarch Facts For children who want to know more, here are some answers to questions they may have. How many eggs 
does a monarch butterfly lay? She lays about 400 eggs, all on milkweed plants. She usually lays only one egg per plant. Do monarch caterpillars eat any other plants besides milkweed? No, monarch caterpillars eat only milkweed leaves. It's their only food. Milkweed is a common weed found all over the United States. However, in many places it's mowed down or killed because it's a weed. Without milkweed, there would be no more monarchs. Monarchs need milkweed to survive. Are caterpillars a type of worm? No. Worms always stay worms. They never change into another shape. Caterpillars change into butterflies or moths. Monarch caterpillars change into butterflies. This change is called metamorphosis. How long does it take a monarch caterpillar to become a butterfly? A monarch is a caterpillar for about two weeks. During that time, it sheds its skin four times and grows about two inches or five centimeters long. It is 3,000 times its original weight when it sheds once more and reveals a chrysalis. It stays inside the chrysalis about five to 15 days and comes out a butterfly. What are butterfly trees? The trees where the monarch butterflies gather on their way south during migration are called butterfly trees. Year after year, a totally new generation of monarch butterflies gather in the same grove of trees that their great grandparents gathered in the year before. Do all monarchs migrate? No, only monarchs born in autumn in North America migrate. They live much longer than other monarchs, about eight months, and fly thousands of miles south to winter in either California or Mexico. In California, monarchs overwinter in many sites along the coast. In Mexico, millions of monarchs gather in huge masses that cover the trees and ground. They stay there all winter to keep warm. In spring, they fly back north to lay their eggs. This is the end of their long and remarkable life. Do migrating monarchs fly all the way back where they were born? Probably not. A few strong ones may, but most fly part way north, lay eggs, and die. The next generation flies farther north, lays eggs, and dies, and so on, like a relay race. There are about three generations of summer monarchs. They each live about a month or so. Then the autumn generation is born. They are the new migrating monarchs. Those born east of the Rocky Mountains or in southern Canada migrate to Mexico. Those born west of the Rockies migrate to California. How do migrating monarchs find their way? This is a mystery. Each year, migrating monarchs fly thousands of miles. For all of them, it's their first and only trip. Yet, they find their way to the same overwintering sites that their great-grandparents found the year before. Some scientists think they do it by sensing the magnetic pole of the Earth or by solar navigation, but no one really knows. If you look at the map, you can see the routes that they can take. How do monarchs fly so far with such thin wings and thin bodies? They stop and sip nectar for energy. When they can, they let warm air currents, thermals, and winds carry them. Still, it's an amazing journey for such 
small, light, fragile looking creatures. What do monarch butterflies eat? Monarch butterflies sip nectar, the sweet juice, of plants such as dandelions, milkweed, thistle, phlox, and wild aster. Their mouth, a proboscis, is shaped like a long skinny straw. It curls up when they're not eating and uncurls to sip the nectar. What makes monarch so special? The monarch is the only tropical butterfly that lives part of its life far from the tropics in places all over the United States and southern Canada. The monarch of North America is the only known butterfly that migrates to specific destinations in large numbers and makes a two-way journey. Migrating monarchs are threatened. Are there other monarchs? Yes! Some monarchs live their entire lives in the tropical locations such as Florida, Southern Mexico, and Central America. Are all monarchs threatened? Monarchs that live their whole lives in the tropics are not threatened, but migrating monarchs that live part of their lives in North America are threatened because of bug sprays and weed killers. These poisons sprayed on fields and in people's yards kill monarch butterflies and caterpillars. Loss of habitats. Many monarch overwintering sites have been cleared for development in California and for logging and agriculture in Mexico. Many others are endangered of being destroyed. To survive, migrating monarchs need the remaining sites in California and Mexico protected.